Hi there, and welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Ted Corbel, or Dr. Ted, and we discuss ways to improve your mental health. When dealing with mental health issues, sometimes an excellent complement to techniques like CBT, or cognitive behavioral work, or journal writing, or exercise, can be more natural methods. For example, hydrotherapy or water therapy. Now, hydrotherapy has been around for centuries now. It involves water to reduce physical aches and pains. Still, it can have a benefit on other medical conditions such as anxiety and depression. A more naturopathic way of dealing with things. Join me in learning more about hydrotherapy. The therapeutic use of water has been around with us for centuries now. Egyptian elites used heated stones to create hot tubs and filled them with oils and flowers, kind of an aromatherapy. The Romans had public baths for their citizens and could accommodate over 1,500 people at a time. Japan has a long history with hydrotherapy. Today, people use hot springs for various purposes, including arthritis, indigestion, and poor circulation. In recent history, hydrotherapy has made a comeback. Now, this can be seen as an alternative or a supplement to current medical treatments. For example, hydrotherapy combined with cognitive behavioral therapy can be very helpful. Now, hydrotherapy can allow people a more naturopathic way of dealing with things versus using modern ways that can have challenging impacts on people. For example, the use of toxic drugs to deal with various mental health issues. It allows people to get back to nature. Chances are you used water therapy already and seen its benefits. Think about the baths you've taken with mineral salts or the use of bath bomb. After a workout, like jumping into the whirlpool to cool down, find yourself against the pressurized jets to help your body aches or the use of ice packs, hot packs for sore joints. I know I sure have. Such examples are example of hydrotherapy. Now hydrotherapy goes beyond just the use of ice packs and can require special equipment like for example swimming pools, hot tubs, and flotation tanks. Water treatment can aid in recovery of lesions, burns, and the management of arthritis. Just to name a few, both hot and cold therapy can help. Hot water helps relax muscles and joints, lowers tension, removes toxins from the skin, and opens pores. Cold water stimulates the immune system, speeds up the metabolism, and increases alertness. Hydrotherapy includes immersive techniques such as going into the water, for example, like going into the swimming pool, the hot tub, and non-immersive methods, like having water applied, for example, the use of cold packs. The use of each depends on your needs. When we use hydrotherapy as a movement to help, it can have a much lower impact on the body. Take swimming, for example. Swimming doesn't really create a lot of stress on the joints. Now, the more user-friendly the movement is, the more likely it is the person will continue to use it. So that will help them reduce whatever kind of issues they're dealing with. For example, they're using the swimming to help with reducing their stress or their anxiety. Now we discussed a few benefits of water treatment for physical issues, but what about the mental health issues? For many people, life is filled with ongoing problems. How to be successful at work, at school. Why am I not happy in life? Am I a good partner? Am I a good parent? Such things can result in a lot of tension in the body, anxiety, fear, panic. The person just can't relax. Their mind is always running at full speed on how to deal with such things. Experiencing warm water on the body, being it a warm bath or a hot tub, can help relax the body and its tensions. Such relaxation helps reduce blood pressure and causes the release of good endorphins to relieve stress. Remember the mind and body are connected. Relaxed body, relaxed mind. The relaxed state also helps reduce the body from making excessive amounts of the stress hormone called cortisol. Now, cortisol helps pump up the body for those flight or fight responses when you're kind of put in these stressful situations. Not good if it's ongoing. 
Warm water can be relaxing, cold water can be energizing. Also helping to release these good endorphins in the body that gives you that raise up. Now this can be helpful for people with depression. People with depression can feel down, have no energy, no drive, feel lost in life. Now when one is exposed to cold, the sympathetic nervous system is activated, which increases these good endorphins to have these feelings of pleasure, of you could say increased power. Now such cold water effects don't need to be gained by jumping in a lake in the middle of the winter, as I've seen done in some countries. A cold shower can also work. The skin has many cold receptors, so when the cold water hits them, it sends these kind of electric impulses to the brain, causing this wake up, more alertness, kind of that antidepressive effect. A cold shower can be a great way to get out of a depressed mood. Now jumping in the lake in the middle of the winter can also help or taking an ice bath, but you decide. Water flotation therapy has proven very helpful, or you could say an assistant in combating mental health illness. Now in a flotation session, the person gets into like a pod-like structure filled with water or a floating room, basically a small little pool set up. The environment is controlled where the person really can't hear the outside world or see much light, so their senses are kind of cut off. So the person floats in this, basically this pod filled with uh, mineral salts. Now, such an environment is meant to remove distractions from the person so they can kind of deeply relax, helping to rejuvenate the mind and body. Now, this is very helpful since our everyday lives are filled with work, family, stress, and running from place to place. Now, all this can take a toll on us, take a toll on our mental health. One study on flotation therapy found that after seven float sessions, patients with general anxiety disorder had improvements in their symptoms, which were found seven months after the flotation sessions. One person reported feeling detached from the world, but in a good way. They could see flashes of light, but it was a really beautiful place that they were in. One person commented that they had anxiety at the start of the float session, but it went away shortly after. They became more positive, more peaceful, and more relaxed about their worries. You could say they learned to self-calm. This can be a result of being detached from the outside world. Their energy is not all over the place. They can see themselves more clearly, allowing them to find their strengths, to deal with things, and again, to self-calm. Now this kind of coincides with something I was told years ago about uh, somebody who was very stressed out, you could say, with their job, with their life, and they took a trip to a remote island, a tropical island. Now on the island, there's very limited internet, limited power. So I think I was even told that the power was off by seven o'clock, 7.30. So they had a lot of time in the dark, in the quiet. And from that experience, they had a lot more clarity when they came back from the trip, knowing how to deal with things more efficiently, make life changes to, again, live a better life. The study had 50 people in it and 47 felt that floating could be a therapy to reduce their stress and anxiety and improve their mood. 37 people found that they achieved more relaxation with floating than any other treatment or technique that they had tried before. Hydrotherapy can be very helpful, but a few things to consider. Does the pool or the facility have clean water? If not, infections can result. Therefore, ask about cleaning and disinfection practices at the place. Now, flotation therapy can be pricey. Therefore, try it out first to see if it's for you. If so, are there packages that you can buy to make it more affordable? Now, hydrotherapy, depending on its use, can be a great complement to mental health therapy. Check with your health provider on how hydrotherapy can assist your mental health goals. Depending on the water therapy used, it can be very affordable, lack side effects, and provide fast benefits. So why not use something that's been around for centuries? I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching. If you know of somebody who could benefit from it, please share it with them. As always, wishing you the best mental health wherever you are in this big world. And until the next video, take care.